Okay, in uh, this video, I want to talk about noun phrases. Okay, because we're going to use noun phrases quite a bit. Okay, and a noun phrase is one or more words that function as a noun. Okay, and the function of the noun is to name things. So noun phrases name things. And the reason we use a phrase is because sometimes it takes more than one word to accurately name something, to accurately describe, to uh, accurately specify. <coughs> now, uh, all noun phrases have a head. If there's only one word, then that's the, that's the head. But the head is the focus of the phrase. Okay, everything points uh, forward or back to the head. And the head must be a noun, a pronoun, or a nominal, oh, I guess I should give myself some room, a nominal verb. And a nominal verb, uh, running is a good example. Um, Running can be a verb. He is running. Running can be an adjective. Um, running shoe. Or running can be a, a uh, nominal verb. Running is good for you. Okay. So if it's being used as a nominal, it is sometimes called nominal verb, sometimes just called nominal, uh, then it can be the head of a noun phrase. Now, syntax. Okay. And as you said before, syntax is the order in which the words come. And in English, syntax of a noun phrase is the determiners come first. And these are the adjectives that describe which one or how many. And then the pre-modifiers and the pre-modifiers are the adjectives or nouns acting as adjectives. Okay. Uh, descriptive adjectives, I guess we should say. The what kind of. And then the head. And I'll put a little star up over here, the head, because that's the one part you absolutely have to have. Okay. And then the complements. Although you usually only have one, but you can have more than one. And the post modifiers. Okay. Now, uh, complements and post modifiers can be prepositional phrases or they can be clauses. Okay. And really, they can each be complements, can be prepositional phrases or clauses. Post modifiers. Post modifiers can be preposition, prepositional phrases or clauses. What really makes them complements or post modifiers is the function they perform. Complements uh, complete the thought of the head. Okay, they complete the the concept or whatever of the head. So they help to define the head. Post modifiers uh, generally give us more information, like location or events or time. Uh, to, uh, again, help us further specify uh, which uh, head we're talking about. Okay, so let's do a quick example. Uh, the claim, and this would be a compliment, that he... was speeding. Okay, a claim has to be a claim about something. In this case, it's a claim that he was speeding. So this helps complete the thought of claim. Okay, now this is a clause. Okay, begins with a subordinating conjunction, has its own subject, which is its own little noun phrase here, one word noun phrase, pronoun and then has a verb. 
Okay, so that's one. And all of these, this complement and the, both point back to claim. They both come back to claim. Now let's put another one up here. Um, your, and this time we'll put in a pre modifier, new. computer and this time we'll put a post modifier and we'll make it a prepositional phrase okay at the office okay and all of this make sure that it's a T all of this is a prepositional phrase now you probably noticed we have another noun phrase so we can have noun phrase inside of noun phrases the he was a noun phrase up here in the clause okay so we can embed them you know you don't want to embed too many layers okay because then it gets confusing to the reader or the listener uh, but you can embed it as many times as you need to and no more okay that's generally the criteria I use make it as complicated as, as you have to but no more than you have to okay and uses okay uses okay okay noun phrases can be subjects they can be objects and they can be uh, direct objects of a verb they can be indirect objects of a verb or as over here they can be objects of a prep of a preposition or they can be subject complements okay so they can perform all those functions uh, the the subject of a uh, sentence or a clause is almost always a noun phrase um, but not always there are exceptions okay but that's another one of those if the su if if your subject is not a noun phrase you better check twice okay make sure you're doing it right okay with that again noun phrases one or more words that function as a noun the head is the focus of the phrase it has to be a noun a pronoun or a nominal verb the syntax the determiners come first then the pre-modifiers, the adjectives and the, the uh, modifying nouns, then the head, then the complements, then the post-modifiers. And again, a complement completes the thought of the, uh, of the head. A post-modifier just gives us more information. Okay? So, with that, I will stop here and go on and make another video.